Hello YouTube. Uh, today we're going to be doing uh, linear algebra and we're going to be talking about the particular solution. So in this particular solution for this video, um, this formula is pretty much everything. Um, so you have the complete solution is equal to the particular solution plus all the special solutions. But for this video, we're only going to be talking about how to find this particular solution. In subsequent videos, um, we'll take a look at um, the other components to this formula as well. So if you have a matrix and you have this particular solution here, um, we're going to go about finding the particular solution in this matrix or this system of equations. So the first thing you want to do is you want to augment the particular to get the particular solution. So you simply augment these two matrices. So you have your matrix, augment it with that XP over there, that particular. So simply do row reduction. Um, I'd suggest pausing the video and uh, see if you can do that on your own, pretty self-explanatory. But you're going to add 2 times row 1 to row 2, and 3 times row, that should say 1, to row 3. Um, then you should get the following here as your um, row reduced matrix so far. Um, then I am just circled the pivots in red slightly. But the next thing you want to do, you can actually just look at the free variables here, which are x2, x3, and x4, because notice how any... Um, how the free variables located are after the pivots. Um, and so we take a look at those free variables and you set them all equal to zero. So uh, what you want to do is write out the equations when you set x2, x3, and x4 equal to zero. So you get 3x1 minus 6x5 equals 9. And then the two equations below are the same, negative th uh, 3x5 equals 9. So, solve for x5, basic algebra, like when you have two systems or two equations, um, you can solve for one variable and substitute. So you have x5 equals negative 3, plug that in to the first equation, right? So then you get that to be 9. Um, solve for x1, and you get x1 is also equal to negative 3. Now, all you gotta do for the particular solution is put it in vector and form. Um, so x1 would be the first space and x5 would be the last. So the first space would be negative 3, which is what we solved with 4. And remember, we set all the other variables equal to 0. So x2, x3, and x4 are all equal to 0. And finally, we solved for x5, which is x3. And you have your particular solution.